हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस साइड राहुल मगन हेयर इज अ चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ ट्रेजरी कंसल्टिंग पीटी लिमिटेड व्हिच इज अ सिंगापुरियन मल्टीनेशनल ग्रुप एंड टुडे वी वुड बी कवरिंग अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज फिक्स्ड इनकम डेरिवेटिव्स डेली लेवरेज सर्टिफिकेट दिस इज वन ऑफ द फंडामेंटल इफ समबडी वुड हैव आस्क मी दैट व्हाट आर द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट इनोवेशंस व्हिच वी हैव इन फॉरेन एक्सचेंज एंड फिक्स्ड इनकम अपार्ट फ्रॉम वन वी हैव वन वी हैव नाउ व्हिच इज ब्लॉकचेन my answer would be that we are having dlc which is daily leverage certificate apart from in foreign exchange we have options swaps and so on so many things now first of all before initiating daily leverage certificate let me remind you to all my indian viewers that this is not applicable in india so where we based out actually which is singapore singapore stock exchange is the only stock exchange in asia not in the world in asia who is offering the dlcs and of course they are expanding the dlcs also so more information about the dlc you can visit the singapore stock exchange website this is an introductory video that how actually it works i am very much fascinated few months ago when i got to know that there is something known as dlc because you understand that as a company also and as an individual also i always love reading always try and found out boss who is doing what which financial innovation is happening and so on so forth because i i was the ex treasury head of american company so it's always love to see that what is happening now daily leverage certificate as the name defined which is first we need to break down this word which is it's a daily plus leverage plus certificate you must be surprised to know that why somebody is using a word certificate here there is a reason to it certificate is not a certificate which you know in india we are talking about like you will get a recognition certificate you passed out any business school you got a certificate you passed any diploma you got a certificate there are certificate is nothing but a structured product i don't refer this as a structured product i refer this as a sip now sip doesn't mean the systematic investment plan like we are using in mutual funds here in india sip means structured investment products if you I don't know how many people from Singapore are watching this, but if you watching from if, if if you are an American national or a European national or a Singaporean national, you must be knowing a word or must be familiarized with the word called diversified fixed income desk. In the second phase of our fixed income platform, which is www. fixed income. global, which is all set to launch, we are coming up with a diversified fixed income desk, and hopefully it would be live from November, which is coming November, few months from now. now in diversified fixed income desk people are offering one thing which is sip which is structured in investment product i again repeat this is not sip in indian context which is of mutual fund and one of the product of sip is the dlc which is daily leverage certificates there are number of products like put covered warrants call covered warrants ranged covered warrants bonus certificates did you ever thought what do you mean by bonus certificate did you ever thought what is first certificate if i tell you that we have a bank in europe who uh, everybody know this bank they need no introduction which is doshe and doshe is the bank in europe who is offering first certificate you must be surprised to know boss i appreciate that we know that that, that bank is there doshe there is no the disconnect from that statement but what do you mean by the first certificate boss let me tell you that the structured derivative market is too big that a human life of 60 to 70 years is insufficient to even read everything even today after sparing 12 years in the treasury function uh, almost 10 years in a corporate role and now 2 years with my own setup which is treasury consulting pt limited every day i encountered with a new derivative which i was not aware about so i keep reading it the financial derivative and the structured derivative is something which is is just like a sea right the more you dive in the sea the more good things you will get to know this is how it is and dlc is a very small thing now you have call covered warrants put covered warrants you have embedded warrants people even do not know what is warrant and here in singapore people are talking about covered warrants this is wonderful now in dlc what did happen there are few contentions in klc not contentions it's a wrong word uh, there are few things which you should know about dlc number 1 dlc cannot be issued on any share so singapore having thousands and thousands of companies which are working from singapore some are virtually and some do have offices in singapore 
Now these so-called thousands and thousands of companies which are working in Singapore, if I assume that 15-20% are listed, right, they cannot have DLC on their share. As simple as that. Across the globe also. You go to US, you go to Europe, the most uh, advanced financial markets of the globe, especially talking the London and New York, right? You cannot have DLC on a share, you can have DLC on an index. Now again there is a contention which we, which we need to understand is that in, in, uh, in an index also it's up to a stock exchange or a regulator like if you talk from a Singaporean context this is MAS Monetary Authority of Singapore it's up to them to approve whether this index will come under DLC or not. So it is not that you know that if you open Bloomberg or Reuters you will get a humongous list of the, of the indexes which are available. There are benchmark indexes, there are stock indexes, you have like talking in Indian context which is BSC and NSC. Do we have DLC on BSC and NSC in Singapore? Answer is no. In India BSC and NSC is like a king, right? But if you go to Singapore and you wanted to have a DLC on BSC oblique NSC, you cannot have because the government has not yet approved this or the regulator has not yet approved that. To make, to cut the long story short, we need to appreciate that DLC cannot be issued on certificates, on individual shares. It cannot be issued on individual bonds, commercial paper, certificate of deposits and all the short term instruments, bank acceptance and others. So I am a company who is issuing a small term, who is issuing a, or issuing a commercial paper for 275 days, excuse me boss, although I understand that I am a public limited company which is listed in Singapore, although not yet, which is listed in Singapore, I issued a commercial paper, it is being traded, it's having a credit rating, it is being traded in the market, but you cannot have a DLC on that. DLC can only be on the indexes and before taking DLC on the indexes, it's the utmost duty of an investor to visit the website of the regulator and also of the local stock exchange. Like we talk from Singaporean perspective, then if talk from a Singaporean perspective, then the regulator is Monetary Authority of Singapore and the stock exchange is Singapore Stock Exchange. Whether this index has been approved or not. This is the first thing. Another thing is how much leverage you wanted to have. But before moving to leverage, let me have a single question. If you talk about any currency, any commodity, there are two parties. One who is a buyer and one who is a seller. You go to anywhere. I wanted to sell dollars, somebody wanted to buy dollars. That is a different thing that he has something in the mindset, he is having a mindset. I have a mindset, views differ, this is how it works. Similarly in the DLC also, you have DLC long, you have DLC short. Now how it works, let me take a simple example of Hong Kong of uh, say uh, some Hong Kong index. Now we have SGX wherein Hong Kong index is being listed. I am taking a hypothetical example. Suppose the value today is 16th of May which is 5 p.m. Singapore, the closure time of the Singapore. It's being listed out at 1030, 10320. You is in Hong Kong. You think that, that assuming this index have 30, uh, 30 companies, you are in Hong Kong, you are uh, very, very religiously monitoring that index because you are a trader. You think that boss, out of these 30 countries, 5 countries are subject to have their annual review tomorrow. So they are, they are basically public companies, they are going to release their profits tomorrow. As per the economics expectation, you can take it from Bloomberg TV, Reuters, and there are so many public platforms. These five companies is going to excel. So excel means they are going to have a better results what my, even market has not expected. You think that when the tomorrow, when 17th of May, 5 p.m. SG, when it would end, 
the index would surely be ending more than 2%. I do not have a calculator, neither I want it. So let me take a, a hypothetical example. You are saying it would be more than 10,640. Now what you do, you are bullish. We have another person. Now this is Mr. A. Who is well versed with the information on the Bloomberg TV, Reuters, magazines, investor data, everything is very well versed. On the other hand, we have Mr. B. Who thinks that, boss, I don't think that this company will come up with a very good result. According to me, the results, the companies are coming up with okay. Uh, if not bad, not good as well. Uh, I'm neither bullish nor bearish, but overall I am little bearish, right? So I don't think they're going to excel the show. So I think that more or less it would end up there. It's somewhere it would end up. This is 10,300 on the flat note. So he is a bullish man and he is a bearish man. Now what both would be doing, both would be selecting first where they wanted to go. He will go DLC long, he will go DLC short. Now comes the question of leverage and the money and how deep is your pockets. This person is a very wealthy man, say Warren Buffet. And this person is more wealthy man, say Bill Gates. Okay. Now this person is ready to take a leverage of 7x. Don't worry, I'll explain what this means. And this person is very calculative person, Mr. B, he is saying, okay, let's go for 3x. So he's a very wealthy man, Mr. Warren Buffet, he's ready to take a leverage of 7x, well versed, reading newspapers, Bloomberg TV and everything out, right? Mr. Mr. Bill Gates, B, very calculative man, he's saying, don't go much, let's go 3%, 3x. Now it means that if his bet would turn true, and when tomorrow the five out of 30, when the five companies would open up and when they will show their result and actually it would happen what he envisaged, the market actually went up with every 1% he would be making 7%. I need not to tell you from where the 7% came. This is what the 7 is meaning. So if he invested, if he bought one DLC, whereby one DLC assuming is $1,000 and assuming things went right, things went 2%, exchange went 2%, the stock exchange went to, sorry, this index went 2% up, he would be making 14%, which is 14x. So he would be making 14,000 US dollars with an investment of only $1,000. On the contrary, assuming Things will not work in a way. The results are okay, okay. In that sense, he not or he would lose that, and this person would be gaining three thousand dollars. This is how it works. Few things which we remember in the DLC as of now is that number one, DLC is only for the intraday. It's not like it's not like that. I will keep lingering on my position. Okay, I have taken it like in case of India, what people are doing, they are taking a position on Indian rupee, stock exchanges, IRS. If they wanted to carry on, they just carried on, they just carried on, they, they, they just carried on. At the end of the day, it's just nothing but the day they have converted the intraday position to intraday position. And they keep moving. This is not like that. Now in case of DLC, in the absence, suppose, if he not been able to, his, his account do not, first of all, it's not possible. He can, can have 7x bet until his account have that, his, his account would have that, that much amount of money. This is the margin which you are maintaining actually. In this, we don't use the word margin. We use the word capital. In Singapore, we use the word capital actually. If we do not have a capital, he cannot trade that. Neither A nor Mr. B. Either it's a well, wealthy man or how come Mr. Calculative. Another very important thing, which is that, in this, uh, in this, the leverage is not mandatory. You can go with the 1x, you can go with the 2x, you can go with the 7x. But if you go, if you go to Singapore, and you will see that generally people are 3x to 7x. Generally, I'm not saying it's it's, it's a mandate. Somewhere 3x to 7x people are doing. 
The complete thing is to be managed by diversified fixed income desk under a proposition called SIP, which is system, uh, which is a, a structured investment product. This is how it would go. We have one more instrument for which we'll talk later, which is an addition to that and which is a lingering on. You wanted to move from intraday to intraday, which is ELC. Endless level, endless leverage certificate. Today is 16th of May. I lost my bet, but I think that I would surely be gaining. Let me linger on and please welcome endless leverage certificate. This is about today. Tragic Consulting LLP Fixed Income Platform www.fixedincome.global is coming up with the second phase. 8th of June we are starting the second phase and hopefully by end of July we would be able to launch. So when on the 1st of August or somewhere in the first week of August you would opening our web, our platform you would have a very good uh, look and feel although it is already there. We are extremely pleased that we are being watched in more than 120 countries, more than thousands of uh, subscribers. Every day we are being watched by more than 600 and 700 times. This is as per Google, uh, Google Analytics. In a week we are being watched more than 4200 times. In a week, week itself. In case you have left with any question and Treasury Consulting do offer more than three, more than 135 types of trainings program. So it's pretty simple. You visit our platform www.fixedincome.global. You will get a tab called trainings. In this trainings you will get five which is functional, forensics, regulatory, technological and information technology. More are coming. Don't worry. You just go there and 135 training programs are waiting you. In case you have any question, my Skype ID is Rahul5327, our platform www.fixedincome.global, website www.treasuryconsulting.in, mobile 9899242978, email is rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in. This is the 5502 502nd video. We are moving fast. Our endeavor is quite clear that by September, anyways, we have to cross the benchmark of 600. Today, we are the second YouTube channel after Khan who have more than 500 live YouTube videos. Thank you and have a wonderful time. Enjoy your day.